Hey there! Welcome to today's session. We have two characters today, Tom and Jack. Tom, who works in IT, often deals with tech gadgets, while Jack is a casual user who likes to keep things simple. They're going to talk about how they choose a new smartphone, something that's relevant to all of us at some point, right? As you listen, feel free to share how you make your smartphone decisions in the comments below. Let's dive right into it. So, Jack, when you're looking for a new phone, what's the first thing you consider? Is it the budget, brand, or are you more focused on specific features? Well, for me, I'd say budget is usually the first thing that pops into my mind. You know, phones are expensive these days, and it's important to set a limit. But I can't just look at price alone. I balance it out with the features I want, like the camera and battery life. If the phone doesn't have what I need, even if it's cheap, it's a no go. How about you? Do you go straight to brand loyalty? I'm a bit of a mix. I used to be really loyal to certain brands, but now I look more at the features and what's new in the market. Though I still check the budget first to keep things in check. What about choosing between iOS and Android? Do you stick to what you know? Honestly, I've been using Android for years, and I just feel comfortable with it. But I still take a quick look at what Apple has to offer. The ecosystem is appealing, but switching just seems like too much of a hassle. Plus, I like the freedom Android gives you with customization. I guess the experience makes me stick to what I know. Do you consider switching back and forth? I actually do. I've used both, and each time I upgrade, I weigh the pros and cons of both platforms. It's all about what fits my needs at the time, but I have to admit, Apple's ecosystem is tempting if you're into seamless integration. That's another thing. Do you consider the ecosystem when you upgrade? Yeah, that plays a role. I mean, I have an Android tablet and smartwatch, so sticking with Android just makes everything easier to sync. If I went with an iPhone, it would be annoying to figure out compatibility. The ecosystem really pulls you in, doesn't it? What about updates? Do you factor in how long your phone will be supported? Definitely. I like knowing that my phone will get updates for at least a few years. It's not just about new features, security patches are a big deal too. I think that's one area where Apple shines. Their phones get updates for years. Android, depending on the brand, can be hit or miss. Do you care much about that? Oh, yeah, updates are important to me too. I don't want to be stuck with a phone that's outdated in a year. Plus, the security side of things is huge. It's nice to know your phone will be supported for a while, especially when you're paying top dollar. Speaking of which, how much do you care about the camera versus things like battery life or performance? That's a tough one. I mean, I do love a good camera for photos, but I think I lean more toward battery life and overall performance. What's the point of a great camera if your phone dies halfway through the day, right? How do you balance those? I'm with you. The camera is nice, but I don't need to have the latest and greatest. As long as it's decent, I'm good. Battery life, though? That's a must. I want my phone to last the entire day without having to charge it every few hours. I also make sure the phone runs smoothly. It's got to be quick. Do you ever look for deals when upgrading? Oh, for sure. I usually check out trade in deals or see if I can snag a discount. It helps to get some value from your old phone. 
What about you? Do you shop around for the best deal or trade in your old phone? Yeah, I like to trade in. It's a great way to bring the price down a little. Plus, who doesn't like saving a bit of money, right? I'll also keep an eye out for discounts, especially when new models are about to come out. You can usually find some good deals on last year's model. How do you figure out how much storage you need? I usually go for more than I think I need, just to be safe. With apps, photos, and videos taking up so much space these days, it's better to have extra storage. You don't want to run out after a few months. Do you aim for the maximum, or do you try to save by going with a lower storage option? I try to strike a balance. I don't always need the top storage option, but I make sure it's enough to last me a while. It's frustrating when you run out of space and have to start deleting stuff. Do you prefer buying from carriers, retail stores, or directly from the manufacturer? I usually check out the manufacturer's site first. They sometimes offer perks like financing or bundles that include accessories. But carriers have good offers too, especially if you're looking for payment plans. How about you? Same here. I check all options, manufacturer, carriers, and retail. Sometimes retail stores have exclusive discounts, so it's worth shopping around. And of course, I make sure to read reviews or watch a few YouTube videos before making a decision. Do you trust online reviews? Absolutely. Reviews help me decide if a phone's really worth it or just overhyped. But I also try to filter through them because some can be misleading. What about you? Same. I rely on them, but you've got to know what to look for. I pay more attention to detailed reviews, especially when it comes to things like durability. Which brings me to my next point. How important is durability for you when buying a new phone? Very important. I always look for features like water resistance or shatterproof glass. I'm not clumsy, but accidents happen, right? I also check for extended warranties, just in case. Same here. Water resistance and durability are big factors for me too. And those shatterproof screens are a lifesaver. Phones are an investment, so it's good to have that extra protection. Honestly, when it comes down to it, choosing the right phone is about finding a balance that works for your everyday life. It's not just about the specs or the brand, but how it fits into your routine and makes things easier. That's exactly right. Every person has different priorities when it comes to buying a new phone. For some, it's all about performance, for others, it's about staying within the ecosystem. But at the end of the day, it has to be a phone that fits your lifestyle. Absolutely. Finding a balance that works for you is crucial. I appreciate you sharing your thoughts, Tom. It's been a great conversation. I really enjoyed it. And to everyone watching, we'd love to hear your take on buying a new smartphone. What factors matter most to you? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay updated on our discussions.